I was trapped in my own type of hell. There isn't a prison there already, but it's just prison that you can't see. They're promising them the world and then delivering them into hell. If you think it's not happening in your town, it's happening right around the corner. It's everywhere. Buyers can be your pastor, your teacher, the soccer coach that lives down the street. All this operates in the shadows. All this operates in secrecy. I'm sure there's guys who say, well, I don't, I don't go to underage because I, I know. You don't know. I was a big part of the problem. Not just me, but the purchasers. M my side of the equation. If there's nobody going to buy it, there's no need to have supply. When I was in the midst of it, I never thought of it. I never thought of sex trafficking. I was paying to escape for 50 minutes, a half an hour, an hour just to escape. This emptiness, it's, it's shame, it's guilt, it's you just feel like you just vomited on yourself. Typical American guy. I mean, baseball, apple pie, and mom, you know, that's, that's me. First five, six, seven years of marriage were good. Uh, have our second child and my wife doesn't seem to be really interested in me. I wanted that physical affection, and I wasn't getting it from her. And the prostitute becomes a tool for the purchaser. There are means for me to get my fix. One of the worst days of my life, to have to tell them what I've become. It's devastating. I had it all, um, and I chose to throw it away. Ended up getting divorced. Don't have custody of my children. I was in a really rough spot where I needed to make money. You know, I have one mom who's already had enough of me, and my dad is out of the picture. So I got very desperate and then entered the world of trafficking. You would be in the apartment alone. Men will request, um, I want a schoolgirl outfit or I want R&B music on, you know, like it, it, gets, it gets worse. You wait for a knock on the door and then you have to hug them in a specific way where you would put your hands up the middle of their back and then go back down and then around their hip because you had to check for guns, knives. Pimp, of course, would le give you molly or cocaine or anything that was some sort of upper. You're basically a shell of yourself just doing this act and then like just praying, wishing it's over in the next two seconds. He would open his laptop and make me read reviews on me. He wants to make sure that his, his clientele isn't disappointed. These are women's husbands and these are people's, you know, judges or DAs. They would talk about their wives. Yeah, oh yeah, it was weird. They would talk about their, one talk, even said, I have a 19-year-old daughter. They just look like normal people. 
normal flipping people. If there's no me's, there's no need to have supply. If there's nobody going to buy it, there's no need to have supply.